A whole lot of Hiller action on Wednesday, April 13th. Hiller Boys Lacrosse took down Ashland by a final of 9-5 to to earn their second straight win. Owen McDonald had three goals and two assists. Jack Proventure had his first varsity goal and Wyatt Ian Tosca for six turnovers as the Hillers improved to two and three of the season. Hiller Girls Tennis picked up a road win over Norwood to improve to three and one on the season. Paula Sandelli, Victoria Allen, and Ivania Matur picked up singles wins and the Hillers took both doubles matches. The Hiller boys tennis team also picked up a shutout win over Norwood to stay perfect at 4-0. and Lex K, Adam Glace, and Stikar Ravi earned singles wins in the victory. Hiller girls lacrosse lost a close one to Ashland 14-11 at home. It was a good back and forth battle, but the Hillers come up just short. Hiller softball hosted Norwood. Norwood took the early lead in the top of the first, but the Hillers responded in the bottom of the inning. In this game, to compete with this tough Norwood offense, right back up the middle, throw to first, in time throw, home, off the mark, and a run scores. That'll turn it into a sacrifice ground out for Holden. And it's a two to one game. And this is hit in the air and it, no one's gonna make the catch. And there'll be no play made and a run will score. A miscommunication in the infield. And Dissimony is around to score. Paharik up to third, Harrigan to second. Calorie to first, Charlotte can to the plate. And this is hit high in the air, over to center field and caught. Runner from third, gonna tag, throw off the mark and the Hillers take the lead. And now the throw to third, not in time. So sacrifice RBI fly out for can. As Pahara comes around to make it a three to two Hiller lead. Hopkinton leading 3-2 in the bottom of the second, and they added more. And she crushes this over to left center to the fence. See ya! Home run, Caroline DeSimone! A two-run blast! Absolutely annihilates that ball. A 5-2 Hillers lead. Hopkinton ended up taking the game by a final score of 7-4 and captured their first win of the season, improving to 1-2 and two overall. We caught up with first-year Hiller head coach Will Collins after the game. All right, coach, congratulations on your first win at the helm of Hillers varsity softball. A very impressive performance out there today it seemed like it took a little bit of everything to win this game oh absolutely i think um this game sort of i mean we didn't make it easy for ourselves i think um you know we're in a situation where we allowed a lot of base runners in the first inning but we we're able to get out of it with two runs and we kind of let our bats do the talk and we caught up and what i was so proud of is that you know when it just seemed like things weren't going our way people stepped up and made plays so i told the team after that we played as if we were going into the game two and zero instead of zero and two and uh, Caroline DeCivity absolutely crushed the ball out of the park. That was just unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my. I, it's the second time I've kind of seen one. She hit another one like that in the scrimmage, and it was funny being the third base coach, just telling the base runner, like, go, go, it's gone. And I, I think I know she kind of had a few at-bats where it was like she was kind of close, but right when she got behind that, you knew it was gone as soon as she hit it. It got, it got the team really fired up, too, so I think that really drew the momentum on our side. And a nice job by uh, Charlotte Can working her way out of some jams, and then Cedia came in to close it out. Uh, can you talk about your pitching today? Um, they were just outstanding today. I know Coach Carter does a lot of the pitch counts where they hit the spots, but they're very consistent throwing, spy, throwing strikes. They hit their spots, and we made plays when it really counted. So there are times, even that first inning, where I said, like I said, um, we allowed two runs. It could have been much worse. And even Juliana came in, and a couple people got on base. But I think um, you know we took a deep breath as a team, and we made the plays when it counted. So it was a, even though it was like a three-run 
game at that. You know, still anything could happen, especially in softball. So can't be proud of them. Well, Coach, congratulations on your first win at the uh, head coaching position at Varsity. Hopefully many more to come. Oh, absolutely. I'm excited. I think this is great for a momentum going into vacation. For, uh, you know, I think we're going to be very competitive for the rest of the year, too. So I'm very excited. Hiller Baseball hosted Norwood on Thursday, April 14th. Scoreless game in the top of the third, but Norwood threatening with two on and one out. John Damari, the pitcher and cleanup hitter, will step in. Two on, one out. Runners on first and second. And he gets a piece of this one up the middle. Glove by the second baseman, flips the short for one. Throw to first, in time. Four, six, three, they go for the inning ending double play. Four, six, three, they go, and the game remains scoreless. Heading in to the bottom of the seventh, game still scoreless, and the Hillers trying to avoid extra innings. So thunderstorms and rainstorms expected to hit the area. And he gets a piece of this one. In the left center it goes, that'll drop down. It's gonna keep on rolling. Carranza flying to third base. Here he goes to home plate. And the Hillers win! An RBI triple by Andrew Gaughan. A game clinching RBI triple. And the Hillers take it one to nothing. Wow. How do you like them apples? Unbelievable! Andrew Gunn comes through with the walk-off RBI hit. And the Hillers take the game one to nothing and improve to two and zero on the season. Norwood falls to one and two.